all right guys and girls in this video I'm going to show you I'm working on uh, using the x32 as a controller now sure it has the the doll button but the doll button uses these faders over here okay and that works fine but I really want to use the 16 faders over here to control my Cubase all right so I got Cubase ready to go that's a screensaver well background so I'm going to load up a, a, a session in Cubase to let you see how far I've gotten so far let's go to the hub real quick I'm just going to load up this uh, session I call Behringer Control and just watch as it's loading up okay you see boom the, the Behringer jumped to where the faders are located on the screen and as you can see I'm going to move the fader on the screen up and down and you're going to see that it's doing the same thing over here in the Behringer I think there's some audio on here so let me play this real quick so basically I'm going to be controlling this mix with uh, the, the X32 using the 16 faders That's the little sample track. Okay. Now, so far, I've gotten um, the mute to work. You know, I can mute. Let's move these up. See there, you're going to see the, the screen mimics that. Okay, you see the mutes on the screen. So let's see. That's the beat. Let me see there. Uh, let's see. What is this? That's the sample. Let me see right there. Let me see here. Also, the other thing too is I got it to where the the fader also works. So if I go over here. And whichever channel I select, so it says select this second channel. Now I can't get the, the session to follow that, but I'm going to turn the pan right here and watch. It's going to be for the second one. See the second one right there? Okay. So if I go over here and select, say the third one, then go over here to my pan control. You'll see I'm controlling the pan control for the third one. So I was able to get that going by selecting the track here. This pan control now controls the selected track. So of course you know you can do 32 um, by using the bank fader, but only stop the 16. So if I go to 16 and I go down here to the 16th fader, you're gonna see. It's moving on the screen as well. Okay. And the same with uh, the mute. If I mute the 16th on the what you call it. It's muted on the screen. And same with the pan. So if I select the 16th cha uh, channel on my Barrage X32 and go to the pan. You're going to see on the screen. That I got it going on on the screen as well. Now, unfortunately, like I said, the select the select button in the X32 does not send any MIDI information. Neither does the solo. I, I'm I'm gonna write to Behringer and hope they can implement that in some type of firmware, so that if you hit solo, you know solo will be up on the screen. But so right now it doesn't. 
dog. Let me see what else. Then as far as transport. So I go over here and I selected group C. And I can stop it. I can return to zero. I can play. You know, it's controlling the sys. It's controlling. I can stop. And also stop will the uh, stop hitting it again will go to the last place it started. Um, and I also have record. I can hit record to toggle the recorder. My transport up at the top. But of course I don't have any tracks set up to record. So when I hit the record button on my X32, I can turn the record on and off. So I got that going. And so this is something I'm working on. I'm going to have a template ready for anybody that's using Cubase. Um, I'm still learning all the X32 can do. Like I said, I, don't, I didn't want to use the, the controller that they have in there. And the controller they have in there works great and everything. Um, but I really wanted to use it over here. Um, and of course you can go up to 32, ch 32 channels, just different things I'm working on. So this, if this interests you guys, just let me know in the comments below. And, uh, as I get this thing really tweaked and worked out, I will definitely put it, um, make it available for you to download and use as well. Oh, and the other thing too is, I, is if I do it in the doll, the mixer will follow. So if I mute this track in the uh, doll, it's muted on the X32 as well. So if I mute a track, it's followed down here on the X32. It's not hard to do, but it is a lot of setup. You know, it's a lot to it to set it up. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's about it for now. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way to open up maybe, I don't know, maybe plugins or it's very limited to what it can do, but it's a start. I mean, a lot of us have bought the X32, and um, the doll version, the doll thing they have on there, it works pretty good. But uh, like I said, I always wanted to use the, the 16 channel faders. All right, let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments below.